All right, y'all, bear with me. This one, I, I feel like is the game changer. Last night, it dawned on me, I think that we have this cup each day of satisfaction that has to be filled up. We have to tally up the moments where we feel satisfied. I think that that's why we tend to overeat. Somebody commented, uh, I'm gonna put your name in the little corner up here um, because you commented how the harder we try to diet, the worse we end up doing on our diet. And I forgot that and, I rem and you saying that just really resonated with me and I was like, yeah, I, I forgot about that. It's so true. And I think it's because satisfaction is how far we exceed expectations. So when we really try so hard on our diet and we're like, okay, I'm going to go to the gym. I'm going to work out really hard. I'm going to eat this salad for lunch. And then for dinner, I'm going to have chicken and broccoli. And it's like these expectations are coming up here. And then when we don't hit that, it makes the fall even harder. We feel even less satisfied. And so we go to food because there's satisfaction in food. There's satisfaction in having that delicious warm pizza with a crunch at the on the crust and having those fries, however you like them. All of, all of those things, there's satisfaction in that. We find satisfaction in food and I think that's normal, that's human nature. But I think when we lose satisfaction in things around our life it's easy to go to food because human nature we're gonna find the fastest easiest way with the least amount of effort to get from A to B and when we need that satisfaction which I think we have a, a certain amount that we need to fill up every day and when we set these high goals for our diet and exercise and we end up down here we've got that much more to make up so it's bring on the pizza, bring on the french fries, bring on the cake, all of it. And I think that's why we end up eating more. So again, satisfaction is when we have expectations and how far above those expectations do we hit it. That's where the level of satisfaction falls in. So the higher our expectations, if we hit it, then it's that much more satisfying, but we end up having these big goals and if we don't hit them, we get in this momentum of not feeling satisfied and human nature, well, some of us, we go to food to feel that satisfaction. All of that to say, I'm gonna be the guinea pig number one today. I'm focusing on satisfaction and it's changing a lot of things already. Like last night when I went to bed, I figured out this satisfaction thing. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna get up and then the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go write my gratitude list. I did this maybe like five years ago and I didn't realize, but that's, that was basically like a satisfaction list and it, it really affected my mindset. And I remember like wanting to keep it up, like always do it. Eventually I stopped doing it because I think I started to acknowledge things that were satisfying in my head just naturally. And then eventually I, I got out of the rhythm of that. Um, but it did help me a lot. And so even though I call it a gratitude list, it's actually a satisfaction list and it's, it can be anything. And this morning I did it and it's kind of hard at first to be like, okay, what made me feel satisfied? Like what made me feel good? What was I glad that I did? And this is just between you and you, you can just write it and throw it away or, or trash it, whatever. Um, and it can just be as as small as possible. I like to try to make it as small as possible because if I try to think of like 10 big things that I'm re that really made me satisfied, I mean, you know, we got to start where we are. So I'm, I think I'm in the rhythm right now of not feeling that satisfaction. That's why the diet hasn't been that great. And so now I've got to keep tally of all these satisfying things that I do and make them small goals. So like, one of my goals was this morning, I'm going to start my gratitude list. And so I acknowledged it and writing it down allows us to acknowledge it and spend time mentally on it. And it increases, you know, that, that satisfaction cup, it, it raises it a little bit with every little one, create small goals, so be that way your expectations are down here. And then when you hit it, that satisfaction feels good. So if it's, you know, I, cleaned out that cupboard I've been meaning to clean out. I like to break things down so small because when they're big, it 
it's so easy to procrastinate because it feels like I've got so much to do. Like even, even when I'm cleaning house, I have my to-do list and I'll put living room, bathroom, you know, each thing down. That way, all I have to focus on is the bathroom right now. All I have to focus on is this and it breaking it down just makes it feel more achievable. And then I get those like satisfaction points. Oh, not just cleaning the house and making it immaculate, but oh, clean the bathroom. Oh, clean the living room. Oh, clean this. So I had to sit down last night and I was like, okay, well, what are things that make me feel satisfied? Not big epiphany satisfaction, but daily things that I can fill up this daily cup. And one of my favorite things, which I have not let go of, is the Todoist app. I'll push, put a link down below. I, it's my favorite. It's to, Todoist. It allows me to put anything I think of that I have to get done into this app. And every time I check something off a list, it makes me feel satisfied. So something that small, like went to the gym, check. I have gym on my checklist every morning and just that little button allows me to feel good. Working on self-development. So what are my goals today? I'm going to start my audio book. I'm not going to hold myself to listening to an entire chapter or anything. Just hit the play button, even if it's for two minutes, just saying that I started it. Watching motivational videos. That was one of my favorite things that I would do when I was in shape. And it gives me such a sense of satisfaction because I feel like I learn something new. I grow as a person. It changes my perspective on things and it, it just makes me better. So I'm going to, that's not on my, on my list today, but that will be there. But just thinking of things that make me feel satisfied, planning the day ahead, knocking them out the next day. And here's the thing is we love social media. We love to scroll. I love to scroll. It's so easy because we get a feeling of satisfaction when we get that dopamine hit. I think a lot of us have probably heard about how, you know, you see some a really cool video. It gives you a dopamine hit. And that is a feeling of satisfaction, but it, it counts for, to me, it counts for much less points because it's not something we are actually doing or achieving. So it has to be little things that go towards a bigger goal. So for me, the personal development is going towards, you know, next year, I'm going to be this much better of a person. And I'm going to be this much different and have improved myself going to the gym next year. I'm going to look this way or feel this way in the gym and focusing on creating as many moments of satisfaction as I can has helped me tremendously already because in the gym this morning, I realized that I'm going through the motions in the gym. Sometimes I have like really good workouts, but for the most part, I'm not quite as present. And I was searching for the satisfaction this morning. They were driving really slow, <laughs> but I was searching for the satisfaction this morning and it made me not just, oh, okay, my goal is to do 10 reps, I'm gonna do 11. It made me really feel out and search for the contraction in my muscles and I was on the hunt for feeling that burn because that burn is satisfying because it, no, it tells me that I'm doing good work, that I'm making a difference, that my body's going to change. Even if it's just a little bit, I'm doing the right thing. And so I was looking for that satisfaction and that's what I felt when I was in shape and I was going to the gym. I was constantly on that search for satisfaction and it made me realize what I have been doing is just, okay, 20 minutes check and I'll push myself here and there, but I needed to remember that I have to be on that search for that satisfying feeling. Oh, this is, I think this is really what it is because um, there's this thing called DLPA. It does help with dopamine. First time I took DLPA, I had zero appetite all day. And I think it's because it was releasing dopamine. So I had all of that satisfying feelings and I didn't, didn't desire the food. Well, this is, unfortunately you build up a tolerance to DLPA and that, that feeling doesn't last, but just a few days, at least for me. So I have to do it naturally, which is even better because it's helping me grow and learn as a person. And our natural exempic is searching out the feelings of satisfaction every little small feeling of satisfaction that you can get like projects that i've been meaning to get to i'm like oh 
that will be very satisfying for me to do. And so I'm finding this filling place of satisfaction and I think this is step three on this natural Ozempic kick and figuring it out, I think this will be our year so and you know what too like are we so critical of ourselves that we never let ourselves get that feeling of satisfaction we never acknowledge things that satisfy us and then at the end of the day it's like okay I've got to fill that satisfaction tank up and we eat everything because I know like a lot of us tend to kind of eat at the end of the day but if it's like I think that's why it's important to have things that feel satisfying that really matter to you that matter for your future future goals because that's those are the ones that really matter those are the satisfaction points that really add up and we don't have that those cravings because when I was in shape and I was seeking out that that feel good satisfaction un unconsciously but I was doing it I didn't get home at the end of the day and, and need to fill up the tank with food. I just, I remember it being a really nice feeling to not have that because it, it has, it does, does happen a lot in the past. I, I wonder if we're, we're so hard on ourselves that we don't acknowledge all of these things that we do and start looking for those things to do that make us just feel good about ourselves and satisfied and and moving towards a bigger bigger goal that's exciting to us. So, so just to update you guys on this past week, my weight did go up. I stick with me, please. I I really do still believe that, you know, this letting go of, of negative energy, focusing on ourselves, remembering how important we are, filling up our satisfaction cup, all of this stuff is on the right path. Um, but I think I needed to figure out the satisfaction thing. So I'm, I'm chugging along. My weight did go up this week, but I think it's, you know, it's gonna be trial and error. I think it's gonna get better with the satisfaction thing. We'll see. Um, so I weighed in at 196.3 today. Um, I did gain weight. I have not been eating great, but I just found out about this. You know, I just discovered this satisfaction idea last night, so. Now we're gonna put it to the test and see how it goes. Um, thank you guys so much for your love and support. It's, you guys are my people and it's, you know, it's empowering to know that we are all going through the same things. You know, when we get down to it in the nitty gritty and day-to-day -day life and work and all that stuff, it's, it's always a little bit different. So thank you guys for being here with me. You guys mean so much to me. I love y'all and I can't wait to see you in the next video. Mwah.